Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can quickly compress as many pictures as you want to any size of your choice, all for free with just a few clicks. If you work a lot with images, be it for blog posts or some other web contents, you must have realized how important it is to compress your images. Using uncompressed images is widely known to be one of the most common causes of web pages being too slow to load up. In the past, I had tried using different methods to do this for my blog posts. First, I tried using this good old Microsoft Picture Manager from Office 2007. It worked fairly well, but here as you can see, the compression option is limited to only three categories of images, documents, web pages, and email messages. However, oftentimes, none of these categories actually fits the image size and quality I need. Another solution I tried was to use a plugin on WordPress. Now, not only was this a paid plugin, I was also limited to a certain number of images that I could compress, beyond which I will need to pay more to compress more images. In addition, the compression option was also limited as a picture manager. The only advantage was that it saved me some time since I didn't need to compress the images one after the other. So the solution I'll be covering here pretty much addresses all these limitations. It's completely free. It gives you a much wider range of compression options. It compresses unlimited number of images and is really fast. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the tool we'll be using for this operation is the Casium Image Compressor, a free image compressing app you can download from sierrasoft.com. I will leave the link down in the video description. This app comes in three forms. You can either download the normal executable version, which you will install on Windows and run normally, or you could download the portable version, which you can simply unzip and run from a portable medium like a USB flash drive or from any folder on your computer. The third option is the source code for developers. We won't worry about that. Here I'll be using the installer version, which is the regular executable version of the app. The installation process is pretty typical. Simply select your preferred language. Accept the license agreement and just follow the given instructions to complete the process. After the installation, on launching the app, you should have a page like this pop up. Here you can use the add button to locate the folder where you have your images and add them from there. You could also simply open the folder with your images, select all using Ctrl A and then drag them into the white space on the Casium tool. So here I have some screenshots I have taken to use for a blog post. As you can see, this is quite a good number of images and each image is about 1 megabyte in size. So for 35 images, we are talking about 35 megabytes or thereabout. That's quite a lot for one blog post. So certainly I need some compression. So after selecting and dragging the images to the white space on the Casium compressor, for the most part, you wouldn't need to change any of the settings from the tool menu. All you need to do is to come to this compression option here and simply set the quality to the level you want. I normally like to set mine to 80% and then choose to have it same for all. Now you can also change your preferred format. I leave mine as JPEG. You can also choose to resize the image by checking this resize box and then adjusting the width and height accordingly. Then next you need to select the output folder where you need the compressed images to be saved. Here I will just create another folder and call it img-comp. Select that as the output folder. Then finally hit the compress button to begin the compression process. As you can see, the compression took less than 10 seconds to complete. Here you have a summary of the outcome. You have compressed 35 images, zero skipped, zero errors, 9.55 seconds. And with that, I save about 25 megabytes in total. Now, when I go to the output folder, I will find all these compressed images. And as you can see, the sizes are now down to about 150 kilobytes. Here you can open to see if the quality is okay for you. 
Here in my case, I can hardly tell the difference between the 150 kilobyte image and the one megabyte image. So it's a perfect job for me. If you are not okay with the size or quality you got from the compression, you can simply go back and adjust the quality again and repeat the process till you get the size and quality you want. And finally, if you want to use the portable version, simply download the zipped file. Unzip to a drive or location of your choice. In the unzipped folder, you will find a ksium.exe file. Simply double click on that and you will have the same exact interface show up. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.